Frankfurt American Alumni Radio. Frankfurt alumni eagle Otis Pate back on the scene, riding high up in the air with my co-host Lenny, the other alumni eagle and Frankfurt Mill Com member Lenny, or you might also know her as Lynn. Lenny, are you flying with me or are you uh, just an illusion? I am flying with you, of course. You're flying with me me and uh, I think that's why the air seems to be so light up underneath my wings <laughs> thank you it's been quite some time since we touched in with you here on the Frankfurt American Alumni Radio yes it has vibe been. frequency your home away from home that's what we are doing our best to present to you and uh we have been through quite a bit of circumstances surrounding our lives since the last time we were able to catch up with you. And uh, because of the day's events with the fest and all the parties going on here in Frankfurt, Germany and all around Germany, we said, hey, it's time to tune in with our fam. Let's catch up to the flock and see what they're doing. So hello and uh, thank you for not moving too fast and letting us catch up with you. Lenny? I'm here. Okay. I'm well, just listening to you. We have uh, some things that we want to talk to you about that's going on over here in the metropolitan area and all around Germany. So we would like, we'd just like to ask you to uh, keep those talents off of whatever device you're using to choose and tune into the show. In Frankfurt, uh, what we have in Frankfurt going on that has really been motivating Lynn and I is the current parties and all the fests that's throughout the city. And oh, yeah. what we are most respectfully referring to is the Schweizer Strasse Fest that's on the south end of the city. And uh, for some reason, they just had to go and make it a two day event. <laughs> for many years, it was an event that was only for about one day. Yes, they would set up everything outside of the metropolitan area, right on the perimeter. In just one day, or actually it was less than that, about 12 to 13 hours. And then they would hold the Schweizerstrasse Fest from about 11 o'clock in the morning till... 12 o'clock at night and by the next day everything was all finished and wrapped up and cleaned up 
It's like magic. Just like magic. <laughs> and、uh, I know it was very hectic and all of that stuff, so I know it's、uh, very much an attribute as well to have it for two days this year in 2016 on the 9th and the 10th, which is Saturday and Sunday. Is those particular dates that we are talking about and days that we're referring to. So, for any Milcom fam that's out there, anywhere in the city or anywhere in Hessen or within a comfortable driving distance from the city, come on into Frankfurt if you don't have nothing to do or if you just want to feel motivated and energized because right now there's a whole bunch of things going on. Oh, yeah, and the weather's gorgeous too. Yeah, you know,、uh, I'm glad that you mentioned that, Lenny, because、uh, up until just,、uh, what, about three weeks, three and a half weeks ago,、um, that would mean shortly before summertime began, because summertime begins on about, the June, about June 20th or June 21st. We had nothing but rain here. It was a, what did you call it, a monsoon? Monsoon season. It was monsoon <laughs> season in Frankfurt, Germany, for those of you. Who don't believe that? It was raining immensely, and the、uh, main river down there was、uh, starting to look like it was going to overflow again. You know, and I thought, hmm, I wish this rain would stop. I mean, I love the rain, but enough is enough because I was actually ready to get on with spring, you know,、uh, and、mm-hmm. of course,、uh, use that as the main、uh, little reminder that. Summer is just around the way, and all these fests, and all these parties, and all these carnivals, and all these wine.、Uh, what those? They're wine fests. Wine there's fest. a wine fest.、Um, uh, it's just so much stuff. There's a museum fest. There's tons of fests. Yeah. Which fest is your favorite,、uh, Lenny? And why?、Um, and, and, and why? Right? And then the third part is. What would you recommend to the former Frankfurt Millcom listeners? If they're in and about and around somewhere from you know, Frankfurt, they might be in Europe. You know, there's many Millcom members that are in Europe as well as、uh, Frankfurt Alumni Eagles. What would you recommend to them? I, like, I would recommend the Museums Uferfest, which is usually in August. But、um, which, is, which takes place along the river on both sides. And it's all about culture and museums, and of course, lots of food and drink, and artistic jewelry, and paintings, and sculptures, and all of that. But my favorite fest has already been gone. It was in May, and、um, it wasn't so nice this year because it was still quite cold in May. And it's the, called the Welch's Tag. That's an unofficial Frankfurt holiday. And if you work in Frankfurt,、um, well, when I first worked in Frankfurt, we always got off the last day of this fest. It goes on for like four days. We always got off half a day so we could go to this fest. And a lot of people get off from their employers to go to this fest.、Mm-hmm. And I had never been back then when I got off, I just went home. But、um, now、I'm, I actually like it a lot. And they put the fest in the, in, around the south side of Frankfurt on the edge in the woods. It's in the middle of the woods. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know the one that you're talking about. Go ahead. Yeah. And that's, I think that, that's my favorite fest. It's four days, you're in the woods,、uh, but it's a fest with food and drink and music. And What's the name of that particular fest? The Welch's Tuck. Welch's the- Tuck. Ah,、uh, yeah.、Um, I'm familiar with that. Welch is like Hessisch for、um, woods, and Tuck means day in German. So it's like Woods Day Fest because it's in the woods. So, what's your favorite fest? My favorite fest is just about all of them. I have to be, <laughs> I have to be honest with you because、um, I just like the energy that Germany has and the people that are attending these、uh, fests and carnivals and parties、uh, out in the street and stuff. I, I just have to say that most people are really like,、uh, 
free flowing and uh, just looking to have a lot of fun. And I have never actually been to any of them over the years, the many, many years that I've been here, a couple decades or so. I've never been to one of them that had a different vibe for the most part. I mean, the within the bandwidth, they might be some a little bit different than others. But the main thing was everyone was trying to have a great time. Right. And uh, the music is normally great. The food is good. And uh, it's just a very laid back, rejuvenating period. So I have to, I mean, it sound, might sound corny, but I'm actually, there's no favorite that I have. Even when we go down to Heidelberg or up to Koblenz or um, to Cologne or... Uh, down to Darmstadt, which just recently had one. Could you? Yeah, they had the Heine Fest, which is um, beginning of July. And they shut down the whole Darmstadt downtown area. And my um, family lives in Darmstadt, and even their street is shut down for the fest. How long is that? going on for that about four or five days well uh there are quite a bit of uh service former service members active duty and family members like yourself that used to live in darmstadt and uh just as a just a quick little sound bite can you tell them what's changed i don't mean i don't know if you can in darmstadt since uh the closing of darmstadt in the what the mid 2000s just to give a quick you know, little idea. It's mm. hard to really say because mm -hmm. I grew up in Darmstadt since I was like 11. And I really, things have changed, but only because certain things have closed down. and not, Like stores or, or yeah. places I used to hang out at. Military bases, military bases. Yeah, well. but basically nothing's changed. That, that's what's weird. I mean... Where I went as a kid still exists today. This and downtown looks the same. The parks look the same. It's the little things, you know, maybe how the public transport looks now or how they've um, changed things at the train station a little bit. But it's it's still Darmstadt, and I haven't gone back to the housing area or to the base since it's closed. So I really you know, haven't given that a look. That would be something to do next time I go there, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm just surprised to hear that, considering that there were so many service members in so many different bases, United States bases, military compounds in Darmstadt. And from my remembrance of that period, uh, which was not that long ago, Rhine Mine Air Base just closed down in 2005 in Darmstadt around the same time. Americans had so much influence there, and it's just so hard for me to even, uh, you know, put into perspective that. Well, maybe things have not changed, that different. but I don't feel like they have because I grew up a lot out um, off the base as a kid. I was only living in housing for like two years, and then I grew up on the economy. So for me, I don't really feel like it's changed that much. As far as how it looks, how it feels, and the vibe, but I don't really live in Darmstadt so anymore. So it's and I haven't lived in Darmstadt for about twenty over twenty years. So I can't really. Maybe I'm not really the one to ask. I only go and visit now. I don't even know all the streets like I used to. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, you were actually from Darmstadt uh, back in your main core days of being here in mm -hmm. the Milcom community. And when I say here, what I'm talking about is in Frankfurt Milcom community because I am aware that many people came from outside of living in the Frankfurt Milcom community. But um, ultimately, they had some affiliation or a lot of affiliation, even though they actually lived somewhere else outside of the the city or the main uh, nucleus. And I say the nucleus because if you remember, the Abrams building compound on Hansa Ali was the nucleus of Europe. That was where all the generals were and that's where all the power was. And uh, that's the reason why I say that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, anyway, thanks for making your best attempt at getting that squared away. But anyway, I'm Otis Q. Pate here with my co-host Lenny and we are back to stay.
Frankfurt American Alumni Radio. Eighty-eight degrees here in the metropolis. Eighty-eight degrees, and I have to say that with a lot of uh, joy in my voice, because uh, the temperatures have not actually been how I would expect them to be during this time of year here in Frankfurt, in the metropolis, compared to other time frames of the year. That song right there was called Some Things Never Change from Air Modular. Air Modular is a group that allows shows like us to be able to use their content, to be able to use their creative musical productions for presentation. And um, we just like to say thanks a lot to Air Modular. And I think Air Modular, Lenny, would be pretty great if they were on the Schweitzer Strasse today, or even yesterday. Today is the 10th of uh, July. Yesterday was the 9th of July, 2016. I think Air Modular would be great out there on one of those many stages that they have. Oh, yeah, definitely. I don't know what it is about that group that uh, kind of seemed timeless to me, but uh, at the same time, I'm not so surprised because i find many artists these days have to be a little bit more eclectic with their music than back in the day specifically because the market for music and the uh, industry is so much smaller and uh here in germany the music industry and the selection of music in mainstream normal stores and outlets for purchasing music is not the same it has also dwindled significantly uh as well as groups that you can see on a regular and I don't know why that seems to have some type of correspondence, you know, some type of connection. But that is, in fact, what's going on. Would you agree, Lenny? Oh, yeah, I would agree. I mean, most people get their music online. And um, as far as concerts are concerned, there's not, there's not that many concerts here anymore. 
as far as popular music. Mm -hmm. And I've heard that often artists don't like to come here because of the taxes, especially to Frankfurt. Because of taxes, really? Yes. So maybe that's the reason why all the good shows are elsewhere in Germany. Shows that I would like to go to aren't hardly ever in Frankfurt anymore. Uh, any particular show that you uh, can think of uh, that is, uh, you know, wrapped up in this turmoil that you would like to see and you can't see? And all well, just when I like. Uh, When we've gone to Cologne, I always see posters for artists that I would like to see there, uh, that right. I would like to see, and and they don't ever seem to stop by here. Good point. And that's what I mean. I'm not thinking of a specific person or mm -hmm. group or anything. Yes, I see. Well, another fantastic thing that's going on here, on another note, and... Uh, in our headphones we're hearing things different probably than what you're hearing because we are broadcasting live from the speaker.com slash ride eagle air console and it's a bit strange when you're broadcasting um what they call pulse i mean pre-broadcasting live it's kind of like an oxymoron but sometimes if you hear a little pause in our flow or what have you That's what it is. We have a little bit of delay or perhaps the system seems to be stopping, but it actually isn't. But as I was alluding to before that, the Euro Football Championship uh, is going on here in Germany. That's another thing that's adding a super duper vibe to all the people out in around the city is the Fußball Championship. And right now, Lenny, where is Germany in this What division ger or in this battle that still has to be decided germany lost to france the other day so that so they're not in the finals as far as for first place i think they got to battle it out for second and third place still and i think that that will be going on tonight if i'm not mistaken so germans are a little depressed about that i mean they're the world champs and, and But as yeah, it is with yes, soccer, it's yes. often a luck thing too, you know. And by the way, Lenny is speaking about the Germans being the world champs from the last world championship that was held uh, about three years ago. I think it was actually in uh, 2013 or 12. And Germany won the World Meister Championship, the FIFA International World Championship. So yeah, that was in Brazil. That was in Brazil. And ironically enough, uh, people here as well are preparing for the Olympics that is going to commence in August. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yes, another major event that people are trying to find a reason to party for, to have meetings and to have all type of uh, gatherings which involved enjoying themselves. And I tell you, I'm one who can't blame them, especially when I remember that uh, just yesterday on July 9th, I was going across the Alterbrücke here in Frankfurt. The Alterbrücke is a bridge that has been reconstructed after the war when the Allied service members had to bomb different places in Frankfurt, uh, the British and the Americans, uh, major, uh, majorly. But the Alterbrücke is uh, a stretch of bridge that spans from Sachsenhausen basically over to the downtown area. And uh, I was out on my mountain bike, you know, trying to burn a little bit of fat off. And as I was just getting my rhythm, I got to the bridge and I had to stop because there were police officers there, Lenny. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I said, oh, come on, man. And now they look like they have the bridge blocked off. I don't need this today. That's what I was thinking to myself. Come on. I'm just trying to get across the bridge unhindered. And uh, so I sat there and evaluated the situation before I lost my temper, uh, temper and got arrested. And <laughs> I realized what was going on was that the police were actually protecting the bridge for the escort service which they were providing to a crew of party members that were not only driving a van and a 
small truck with DJs on the back. Wow. What they were also doing was escorting them along the way. I don't know what the route was. I'm sure the route was already predetermined, but that's what the Pulitzer I was doing. And I thought, man, I don't mind sitting here and watch this spectacle go by, this very special spectacle to me, because we have the almighty German Pulitzer, the police service, sitting on the bridge, waiting for the entourage, the parade of musical listeners, youngsters, probably all underneath 33 at least, 33 years old, enjoy themselves and follow behind trucks that are playing the most recent club tunes that they dig. Maybe that had something to do with the Schweizer uh, Straßenfest, you know? That probably did. They probably made sure all of that type of stuff coincided at one particular time. I didn't even think about that. But my main reason to mentioning that situation is not only to show you the state of how Frankfurt is currently here in July, but also to let you know that... Uh, you know, everyone is down with this uh, feel good vibe during the summer season and it's been going on and on since I would say the very least since 2002 and 2002 is when we had a super heat wave over here. You remember that heat wave? Lynn? Oh, I remember that. I think I was at the river every day. Yeah, those temperatures during that yeah. time frame broke records, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, if you don't know about that heat wave that we had back then, it was very unusual. And that's why I mentioned it. But that's when I realized that, um, you know, the German Polizei are not as hand-strong and as mean as many people might want to believe. Because they actually were letting people sleep out on the main river on the banks there in sleeping bags and have the little wine going on with the cheese and whatever else they wanted to do as long as they were behaving themselves and not long after that in 2006 approximately four years later or three and a half or something like that they had the world meister championship being hosted here in frankfurt that very much reminds me of this vibe that's going on now and i said wow man frankfurt has really changed since the days of uh, Frank Milcom and all of the service members were here, you know? Yeah, they had even put a, uh, remember, they had even put a flat screen TV in the river so oh, people yeah. could watch soccer right, right. on the river. Yes, yes, I remember that. I, that was unbelievable. Tell them a little bit more about that, please. Um, the, the TV, the huge TV that was in the middle of the main river back when that sporting event. Well, since the World Championships in 2006 for soccer were being held in Germany, Germany was a hosting country. Some of the games were in Frankfurt, some were in Cologne, and I think others were in Munich and Berlin. And so they had taken the whole main river here in Sachsenhausen and had on the Sachsenhausen side had put a lot of food stands and places to watch the games and hang out and places for music and for dancing. <laughs> and um, for the whole month, it was like a nonstop party. I was always out there, even though I'm not even a big soccer fan, but the mood was great. The weather was great. They had built this flat screen in the river mm -hmm. it was humongous and had put like stands on the side of the river so you could watch the games yes amazing you can actually see pictures of that if you go on google uh images and google the information pertaining to the world meisterschaft the fifa world meisterschaft being held here in frankfurt back in 2006 lenny Mm -hmm. You had even done a video on that. Yeah, I, I did. Um, but that channel no longer exists. I, although I still do have the videos uh, for that. I still have the videos, oddly enough. But nevertheless, uh, our whole purpose of being here today, trying to catch up with you is to uh, vibe with you and give you information about what's going on at your home away from home and uh 
we're trying to get that perfected so you feel good. You know what I mean? And、mm-hmm. there's nothing better than remembering the good times or when you were in your youth. And one thing I found out about all these fests and parties that I am a vampire when it comes to energy, and I let it roll. Air modular, one more again, chilling out, cooling out with Frankfurt American Alumni Radio with a song that they have available online for all those who are interested. Air modular. The song is called Stained Glass, and you can go online at the link that we'll provide it in the info box and download that if you like the vibe of that from Air Modular. Frankfurt American Alumni Radio. Your online entertainment resource for what's going on and what's cracking in Germany, and especially in Frankfurt. What we want to do is take an opportunity because of、uh, us not being on the air for quite. A few months, I would say almost seven to eight months. Just wanted to say everything has been put in order for us finally. We had so much going on in our lives, and、uh, many people we were figuring might have actually forgot about Frankfurt Alumni Radio, and we would understand because of how many, many, how many months passed and how many days passed since our last transmission. You know, and、uh, what I wanted to do is just take a. Quick second and mention what Frankfurt Alumni Radio represents. You know what is it about? Why are we broadcasting here on Spreaker dot com slash Ride Eagle Air? And the reason is is、uh, we would very much like to provide a resource for what's going on over here in Frankfurt and other parts of Germany. You know. Through the different type of media's like news. And giving you reports and former Milcom member interviews when, whenever we can actually schedule those things.、Uh, we're going to also have like a chat room where you can chat and all that type of stuff,、uh, and as well as call in. 
But that's the number one thing. The other thing is to provide an escape to Germany if all of those who are not in Germany and scattered throughout the different sectors around the world or what have you, we want to uh, be able to provide uh, an escape to your home away from home, you know, and uh, give you another vibe that at the same time allows you to reminisce on those days and, you know, stuff like that. I know that I enjoy it. We enjoy putting shows together and trying to think of content that would be interesting to you. And uh, I found myself, I don't know about you, Lenny, but when I was not in Germany for some time, when I moved back to America, I found myself always thinking about Germany, very often anyway. Oh, I, yeah. The same for me. I was always thinking, well, in Germany, we do it like this and we yeah. do it like that and things are like this. Yeah. And, but, you know, I guess that's natural when you're away from what you consider home, a place you consider right. home, to always compare with mm -hmm. your new surroundings. Yeah. And I did that a lot. And so have I, and I realized what that had to do with is that I was over here in elementary school in Germany, in Frankfurt, at elementary school number one. I was over here in Frankfurt American Junior High School. I was a, a knight uh, for seventh and eighth grade before I went back to the States for ninth and tenth grade. Then I came back to Frankfurt again with my parents, uh, parent, actually, my mother at that time. <laughs> she wanted to come back here for a job that she had. And I was again in the Frankfurt Millcon community for 11th and 12th grade. So I graduated from Frankfurt American High School back in the 1980s and uh <laughs> i think that has a lot to do with it you know with me missing frankfurt when i'm not here outside of many other things that i, I enjoy but because i grew up here as a, uh, as a large part you know what i mean oh yeah yeah but the third thing that i wanted to mention the reason why frankfurt american alumni radio is something that we are trying to make interesting for you to come and check out and you know stuff of that matter is because we want to bring former U.S. military or U.S. MILCOM, and U.S. MILCOM stands for Military Community of Frankfurt together and, of course, other areas. We want to bring them all together in a place where we can also socialize uh, on air and hear our voices and our personalities, which is very unique through the whole lot of us, as well as, uh, you know, we can reminisce and, uh, hey, have fun, you know, so that's basically it. That's the main reasons that we are here. Lenny? Those are all good reasons for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so here in July, we have the Schweizer Strasse Fest going on from the 9th and the 10th, and there's many other fests that are going on. Is there anything that comes to mind uh, that you would like to share, Lenny? As far as fests go, is that what you mean? Yeah, or shoot, anything. Anything. Well, I know next month will be the Museums Fest, which is one of the, for me, one of the nicer fests, you know, um, mm -hmm. even though I like them all too, but it's one of the more elaborate ones with lots of entertainment and culture. And I had mentioned that a little bit earlier. Other than that, I can't think of anything at the moment. I'm not always mm -hmm. on the up and up. I always find out about things like a few weeks in advance when I see a poster. I see. You know. A few weeks in advance is when you find out about what, like the parties that are going on in the city or whatever. Exactly. Oh, I see. Well, I wanted to remind those who are forgotten because uh, during the time frame that we were not creating shows and trying to give everyone information on what's going on here. Um. Our YouTube channel does still exist with the different videos that we're compiling. And that's at youtube.com slash Frankfurt alumni video. So we want you to know that that channel is still up and we're still uploading to it. As a matter of fact, we just uploaded a little something the other day, about three or four days ago. And so that's again at youtube.com slash Frankfurt alumni video. So in tandem through those two mediums, we're doing our best to uh, give you different perspectives and stuff that's going on from over here and uh, trying to vibe with you and catch up with you at least 
once a week. We're trying to do that twice a week, but we figure we can do it twice a week by posting a video and or a show or two, you know, throughout a week. So those are the locations you can check for different entertainment, different, uh, you know, vibes from Deutschland, your home away from home. And that's what we at least that's what we like to call it, because <laughs> I think that's pretty accurate. Lenny, I think so, too. I think so, too. Well, also, if you would like to send us a um, video request, you can email us at, let's see, Frankfurt Alumni Videos, with an S on the end, at gmail.com. We take uh, requests from former Milcom members and Eagles alumni, especially when we go out and get different video footage for everyone because I know everyone and Lynn knows also we know that people have different uh, tastes or they want to see just different locations here in Germany so if you ever want to do that just email us and we'll be more than happy to you know try to get the footage as a matter of fact what we're going to be uploading to the channel very soon and I say very soon probably in the next three weeks uh, is footage that was requested by a Eagle alumni from the Milcom community. Uh, and I guess I shouldn't give his name, but what he wanted to see, uh, I don't have permission to give his name, by the way, is the footage from Elvis Presley when he was in Friedberg and Bad Nauheim back oh, yeah. in the 1950s. So I have uh, quite a bit of things collected. Lennon, I, Lenny and I have some ideas of when we're going to go again on location and capture that footage. So look to our Frankfurt alumni video channel on YouTube for that because it will be posted within the next three weeks uh, and some change at the most. Here in Germany, it's a bit difficult from time to time to grab footage of former locations that were military. Yes, and so it is. We have to always ask those to uh, just remember that challenge that we have to overcome to get footage is Things have changed quite significantly um, since 2001 and more especially because of the new laws that uh, came into effect with the euro back in like 2002, 2003 and stuff like that, you know. So I guess that's a wrap for me, Lenny. And you, uh, if you have anything, lay it out because we are dealing with just a little bit of time. No, I don't have anything at the moment. Um, maybe for the next show, I'll have more to say. Okay, well, that's fantastic. And you seem to uh been riding Eagle Air with us today uh, in fine spirit. Please come back and see us again very, very soon. And check out the YouTube channel. And remember, we are your resource for what's going on over here in Frankfurt and especially in Germany. Until next time, take yeah, care. Boy. Bye-bye. Tschüss. Frankfurt, American, American. Alumni, Alumni, Radio. Radio.